Hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon uh, for our uh, audience in the UK and good evening for people who are joined from India. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all for this uh, webinar on digital supply chains in India and how technology is helping uh, to really export fresh produce from India uh, into European countries. So my name is Sachin Chande. Uh, I'm the CEO of Kisan Hub. Uh, Kisan Hub is a technology company. Uh, we are a software product company. Our software, our supply chain software, is used by a number of leading uh, fresh produce suppliers into the UK uh, supermarkets, and so used by a number of different processors in the, in the agri-food uh, sector. Uh, before I, I begin, uh, over the last few weeks, a number of people have asked me, uh, Sachin, what is the purpose of this webinar? Uh, why are we doing it? So I thought I'll probably spend a few minutes on that before we uh, ha, you know, uh, start chatting with Ilas. So really, like, you know, if you see, there's a lot happening in digital agri-tech space. That's the first thing. Uh, and secondly, uh, innovation and uh, digital agri-tech has been very close to my, my heart. Uh, and while there are like a number of different companies at a different stages in the journey, uh, there was a, we felt that there's a real need to have an industry-level platform so the uh, industry leaders can come and share their experiences, share their best practices, share their thoughts on uh, digitalization of the, of the supply chain. And today uh, we have uh, Vilas Shinde, who is a chairman and managing director of uh, Sayadri Farms. Uh, Vilas, uh, a real pleasure to have you here. I know uh, Sayadri Farms is India's largest farmer collective in the fresh produce uh, sector. But most importantly, Sahyadri has used technology as a real enabler in scaling your business, right? And while you had done that, you have established world-class infrastructure in India, right? So please tell us a little bit about yourself. First of all, Sachin, uh, thank you for this uh, invitation. Uh, hi, everyone. Sahyadri Farmers Producer Company is a farmer collective, which is a... Uh, the farmers having a uh, in fruit and vegetable business. So basically, this idea came in my mind in uh, 2011 on the background of my personal experience as a farmer and also as a agri entrepreneur. Because in India, almost 90% farmers are just having a two to three acre land. And with that land, uh, if you're asked uh, to compete them in global competition, I think it's uh, very challenging for any uh, for, uh, yeah, any small farmer or any entrepreneur having uh, whatever the skill on the, on the technology side or on the market side or on with the management side. So I think uh, the scale, which is the main factor to um, uh, create uh, any efficiency for production activity or for the marketing activity, I think is a big challenge for Indian farmers. That's great. Uh, thanks for that great introduction, uh, Vilas. Uh, and I think it's, it's been a, a, a fantastic journey so far and you achieved that uh, scale. So really, I think you touched on this uh, smallholder farmers uh, and role of the smallholder farmers in the collective. And you spoke on this achieving the scale uh, of, of these um, uh, small farmers in the supply chain, right? And that's really important aspect of it. And I think this is something, you know, we, which we think, you know, will happen in emerging economies. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Sayadri is uh, India's largest grape exporter. exporter. Uh, and when you export fresh produce, quality is such an important thing, right? And uh, as, at the same time, uh, uh, while working with a number of smallholder farmers, you have this international partnerships at the other end, right? So please tell us a little bit more about, you know, about these international partnerships. And how are you providing that visibility to these international partners, partners, your retailers, your customers, and how the growing operations are carried out and making sure that you know you are complied with international uh, quality regulations and all of the processes which European supermarkets demand uh, from, from all of the suppliers like you? We need to understand the customer expectation, the end consumer who is actually consuming your grapes about the quality standards, about the safety uh, features, also the expectation uh, of uh, international customer. I think uh, in that uh, in first two, three years learning, so uh, actually uh, we realized that though we are a small farmer, but we are competing with the global um, supplier, um, whether it is from the South Africa or from the Chile, 
and uh, on that side uh, in competition you need to be capable uh, to uh, meet the customers expectation and uh, uh, the front end the retailers customers uh, cust uh, retail uh, organizations uh, their expectations about the food safety standards and also about the overall traceability of that uh, particular uh, food chain how we can uh, give the complete transparency on the food safety uh, parameters that we learned in the initial phase and then uh, when we connected with the right partners in uh, uk uh, jupiter Par uh, marketing uh, limited who is our uh, associated uh, partner uh, since last 13 years uh, for uk business so along with that uh, then we created the complete ecosystem where uh, we try to give complete uh, transparency about the food safety uh, factors from the, the uh, production level at farm level post harvest uh, at the uh, organization level and also the logistic level so with that thought then uh, the complete ecosystem uh, is created with proper technology and then uh, in the first uh, few years learning 2004 to 2010 uh, around 100 uh, farmers group was established specifically uh, for european uh, export market uh, supply chain and then on that background sayadri's uh, initiative started in 2011 so that the learning of initial periods and then the customer and under, proper understanding of the customer's expectations. So that uh, actually um, understand uh, to, uh, that that actually support us to create the understand and also to create the proper ecosystem. So with the GrapeNet system initially, all that uh, traceability uh, system uh, we established. But then in uh, further step, we understand that we need to create our own uh, proper ecosystem with our own uh, the support partners where we'll have the better traceability, better uh, uh, visibility to the customers. And that's why then uh, we started uh, working with the few uh, key uh, technology partners uh, as a Kisanab, uh, one partner. Uh, then we have another few partners who join us in this uh, uh, journey. And then through that, then we established to give the complete visibility to our international customers. And because of that only, Sayadri has established as a uh, one uh, one recognized and one uh, trusted partner for the European uh, supermarket and also for our uh, the main uh, stakeholders from Jupiter to other stakeholders. That, th uh, that's good to hear, Vilas. You know, uh, as as you explained, uh, the the number of smallholder farmers at the at the other end, you have international uh, supermarkets. And then that kind of importance of traceability, transparency in the supply chain. But most importantly, food safety is something you know um, is is quite critical when you when you supply the export um, uh, export quality produce. And you, you spoke about this ecosystem, right? And I think you know uh, Sayadri has been really kind of you know um, as, at forefront of establishing that. Uh, a, a digital ecosystem and bringing in multiple partners and Kisanab has played a role uh, uh, in, in, in developing that partnership, but also in developing that ecosystem. So if, within that, uh, do you want to sort of, you know, explain a little bit in terms of how then Kisanab is helping you address some of those challenges and some of those pain points? And also what is sort of, you know, uh, Kisanab's role in that broader ecosystem uh, of, of the digital suppliers? If you see the uh, the real challenge for uh, uh, organization like Sayadri is how we can make the farming profitable because if it is uh, profitable then it can become sustainable. So I think in that case uh, as an organization we need to focus on um, how we can create efficiency on the production uh, level also how we can create efficiency at post service and marketing level. So the specific challenge on the production side so um, uh, to improve the efficiency, we need to focus on improving the productivity, also uh, improving the quality as per the international standard. So for that, the proper data analysis uh, of uh, different uh, resources from the uh, whether the data is coming from the weather station or coming from the satellite or from the agronomies, from any source, how we can uh, analyze that data efficiently and how that farmer can get the right time uh, advice with the accuracy, that is uh, our challenge. So that challenge is uh, solved uh, with the Kisanab's uh, help. Kisana on the Kisanab platform, all these things uh, are managed um, efficiently. Every farmer is getting uh, plot specific advice and also the plot specific advice based on the day-to-day um, -day real time information coming from the different uh, resources 
whether it is from the weather station their own weather stations or from the outsource uh, weather station data or the satellite data we are working with kisan hub since uh, last 6 years now i think uh, there are more than uh, 10000 uh, farmers uh, who are using the kisan hub uh, platform for their day to day operation related challenges and uh, that is not only uh, now uh, limited to uh, grapes we have uh, different crops yeah, from uh, horticulture crops to rice and now even uh, we are now focusing on the crops like cotton where uh, uh, the uh, cotton farmers also uh, will use the kisan platform for improving their productivity and also um, uh, improving their quality but to hear that uh, and this is definitely you know within broad kisan hub's vision uh, and what i like will us here you know you spoke on sustainability uh, and uh, uh, you know encompass like you know both elements of sustainability which is environmental as well as economic sustainability and those those two elements go hand in hand but also this importance of engagement with the farmers and providing them some sort of tooling so they they can take better decisions on the ground and those decisions can be taken on number of different data sets and really like you know uh, at kisan hub our mobile app is really at that forefront of uh, providing to those decision support tools so let's you spoke in terms of the quality and the importance of uh, quality management right how how are you sort of managing that across like number of different farmers and you you gave like a true scale at the moment is over 10000 farmers across number of different crops right so let's take an example of uh, you know some of the important crops like um, uh, grapes is probably you know uh, the, the valuable crop for sayadri business how are you now managing that quality uh, using you know uh, the technology which which is with you and kisan hub tools to really kind of uh, give that making sure that you know the right kind of produce reaches to the customer gate and you know uh, so that's really the first question and then what happens if you have wrong produce reaching re- reaching customers gate here in europe see i think um, it's not only about te- technology it's about the overall ecosystem which is actually helping to uh, manage the the uh, this big uh, 10000 plus farmers uh, their the, the complete collective system along with the around 25000 acre area and also the customers expectations so my interest customers expectation both need uh, and uh, how, how can manage properly i think for that the complete ecosystem uh, you need to create so sayadri focus on uh, creating the complete ecosystem where uh, along with the proper technology uh, implementation right uh, infrastructure then the right um, uh, team who is uh, having the expertise on the, from the production side to the post harvest to the marketing so with the complete uh, ecosystem help now uh, sayadri is in position to manage the international customers expectation with the small scale farmers uh, production activity that's good and really the the key thing which i would like to draw out of uh, this is really that ecosystem and how number of different software systems are playing their role and integrated with each other so that you know you capture the data only once in the ecosystem and then move it across where it is needed so for example like you know all of the uh, farmer details uh, are captured on kisan hub then they move into sap for some of their payments or you know uh, other uh, other uh, communication which is required to do do with them from the accounting perspective right and in the same way you mentioned about the logistic system and integration of logistic system you, so meaning you can plan your harvesting operations in a, in a in a better way and it all kind of fits together as a as a one uh, jigsaw puzzle uh, and and making sure that you know uh, you then deliver a right quantity and right quality to your um, international um, uh, consumers that's great uh, thank you very much so uh, as we are coming to the end i would like to summarize few key uh, learnings and few key lessons which which uh, you shared with us so it's really about you know uh, bringing all smaller farmers and achieving that scale so that collective effort is is probably you know your starting point but what you mentioned and which i liked and which is true in the digital journeys as well is start small start somewhere small get a handle on it and then kind of scale from uh, there on so that's really sort of the first key point second is as you are scaling this business try and build a ecosystem of different applications or software systems so that you can provide that end to end connectivity so that you can provide that traceability transparency to your own customers but most importantly as you are adding more farmers 
on onto your network then you can start managing them effectively and efficiently because ultimately you can't you know uh, if you're adding more number of farmers that doesn't mean that you know your uh, the staff which you are recruiting to monitor those farmers has to go up in the same proportion and that's where probably you know the the, the ecosystem the digital ecosystem and digital tools like kisan hub are, are playing a, a big role and then finally uh, i think you spoke on right team Uh, and i think that's really important the mindset of the team uh, the the mindset of the people and that includes like everyone in the supply chain including farmers including your own staff your agronomist and people like us who we are partnering with you to really kind of you know build that ecosystem build those value chains and and make sure that you know the uh, uh, ultimately the quality produce reaches you know uh, customers gate so these are some of the kind of you know points which i picked from the from your discussion i'd i'd like to thank you uh, for for your time today vilas i know how busy you are uh, and you know uh, it it has been really fascinating to hear your views your thoughts and your experiences on this show so thank you very much uh, a great pleasure you, to Sajin. have you here and i'd like to remind that you know we we are having a special guest next month uh, uh william burgess who is a chairman of burgess farm produce world who is supplying to some of the major uk supermarkets so he will be joining us on 19th of november um next month so uh thank you very much to all of the audience who have joined today and i look forward to uh, having you on board uh, on 19th of november as well thank you very much and i have a- thank you sachin thank you to all the audience thank you all right thanks have a good rest of the day and good evening there cheers bye good evening.